Hi, my stamping friends. I'm Diane Evans with stampingwithdiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the interior of British Columbia. Sorry, here in the uh, interior of British Columbia. So if this is one of your first times joining me, welcome. I'm so glad that you have joined me. I'm glad that you found me either on YouTube or by Facebook. Make sure that you do subscribe. Make sure that you like my page. And then that way you'll get notified every time that I go um, live onto, um, onto YouTube or on my Facebook. Um, but in any event, today has been a huge, huge day as far as in the Stampin' Up! world. Um, not only do we, as a demonstrator, we get to see the new catalog, but we also, we, we know what our new colors are, and we also know what's retiring from our annual catalog. So this is one of those days that you either cry or you either rejoice in, in what's retiring. I don't know, but sometimes you can um, pick up on some really good bargains if you, um, if there's a lot of things that you like in the annual catalog. So today, like I say, a lot of things are retiring. I'm actually quite shocked at some things that are retiring. And then I'm, I'm not shocked at other things retiring, but there are an awful lot of certain things that are just going, whew, they're just going. Now, one thing to really watch on that particular thing, and I'm going to actually come on down to uh, my desktop. So I usually always go, I have sent out a newsletter to anybody that's on my newsletter list. You're going to see the new colors on there. You also have a PDF that shows um, the last chance list. There's also a sign up for um, the In Color Club, and there's also another sign up um, for my paper shares that I do here. So, um, in any event, this um, last chance list, seriously, it's best to um, look at it on your computer, make the screen a lot bigger, and then that way you don't need a magnifying glass. Um, to look at it, but there's a lot of items that are retiring. One thing to watch is that maybe a bundle is retiring, but not the set. And I'm actually going to show you, um, we're going to just use a sentiment from one of the um, uh, things that bundles that's retiring, but neither one of the products are retiring. So anyways, it is a sad day, but man, I tell you, some of the colors that we're getting our new colors. I love them all. I'm actually wearing a, a shirt that I think is one of the colors that's pretty close to, well, it's almost in between two of them. But anyways, so yes. And then I go through my annual catalog and I write down everything that's retired. I just go through and mark up my calendar. And if there's certain things in there that you like and you think, oh, I you know, I'm okay. I don't need that. There are certain things that you just might want to get right now. One of the things I'm shocked at the most is the Stitch So Sweetly dies. Because that is one thing that I think is one of the most useful dies in that we have that in the Hippo dies and they're both retiring. All right. So without further ado, let's get going on our mystery challenge. So the mystery challenge today has three items on it. It has a punch. We are going to use this um, this punch, and this punch actually is retiring, and you save 20% on this punch, and I can't remember. I think it's, um, let's see, it's on page 150. I know that. Sorry, it's the everyday label um, punch, but I am using that. Now, when I knew, when I did this this morning, I didn't know what was retiring, so this is on there. Another thing I said was watercolor. So I'm using watercolor paper. That's one of the um, hints from um, the thing. And the other one is, is an easel. Think of it this way. It's, it can be an easel um, card. It could be a twisted easel card. It could be, or it could be something that I'm doing myself. So just to let you know, we're going to be using this ocean front. This is such a versatile stamp set. And such good news because this is actually carrying over into the new catalog so that's always a good thing we're also going to use i want to use this stamp um, stamp set this is not retiring but the bundles retiring so those are things that you really have to watch because if you see little stars beside them i think it's four stars beside on your last chance list that's when this comes about and um it'll tell you that it's just the bundle that's retiring so the um the punch is still good. 
All right, so let's get started on here. Now, I when I wanted to do this, and a lot of times um, I am, hello, Peggy. A lot of times when I do these mystery challenges, it's probably because I've had to do a challenge in another spot. So um, this one actually is a bit of a challenge that I have going forward in another, on another um, blog hop that I'm going in. But it's one that there's so many different things to pick from. I picked the ones that I wanted to do. So I have a piece of pool party and it's four and a quarter by 11 and I've scored it at five and a half. So I'm just going to fold into the mountain and let's use our bone folder. Hello, Janet. All right. And then what we're going to do is I am going to use, this is a timber, a timber wood um, embossing folder. This one, I don't know. I I can't remember if I, this was in the new catalog. All I know is that this was carried over from the J to D mini catalog. So I'm going to actually use this. But what I want to do is I want to color this. And a really good thing to do. And it works great with the brayer. However, brayers are retired. So I'm just going to take, this is my soft suede. And I'm just going to take this. And I'm just actually going to color I'm just going to pull this down like this. And I want a wood grain on my particular card. And I want it on the front of my pool party. Now, wood, is it going to go this way or should it go this way? I am thinking that the wood should go, the grain should go up and down. So what I'm going to do is, you know what? I should have had this come right to the top. So let me go in and finish that up to the top. All right. I'm going to have to do some playing around with this because I do not want it to go. I want it to be on the front of this. So I'm going to line this up here. Just like this. And then this might be a little too dark, but that's okay. We're going to play with it, with it being this dark. I might be sorry that I've got it that dark. Now what I'm going to do is bring in my, my cut and emboss. I have um, number one down. Plus also I am going to use the number four plate. And I thought I had that right here. As soon as I say this, I will find it. And because this is a 3D embossing folder, I need to use plate number four with no other things down. Make sure it's good and right in the middle there. Oh my goodness. Oops. That's why I can't get it through because I got my number four plate on the bottom. Okay. Let's just run that through. Oops. We got a real... A lot of shaking going on here. But that's all we really need there. And I'm hoping it's not too dark, but I bet it is going to be too dark. You know what? It's okay. I can live with that. So like I say, I've got a bit of a, um, a wood. I've got the timber. I think it's called timber something rather like that. And then this is where we're going to bring in the punch because I am actually doing an easel. We had done these years ago when I actually I'd love to show how these get done. Um, I remember making so many of these. I can even see the um, stamp set that I had used with it. All right. So I'm just going to put this right in about the middle. I'm kind of eyeballing it. And I'm just going to punch through both of those. And that is going to give me my easel. Now, this, this reminds me so much of my grandson's easel. He's such a cute little artist. So, um, to me, this whole thing is all about him. Mind you, won't be doing exactly what he would be doing. I wouldn't be drawing dinosaurs or anything like that. So, then we've got like this wood grain there. Now, what I want to do is I want to use this ocean front. 
And I also want to use it on this fluid paper. And I want a frame on here as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretend that we're painting on here. So let me just um, bring this in there. And, you know, I don't want my, my paper part here to be, um, to get wet. So I've got my spritzer. And geez, I can't even tell you if the spritzer is still um, going to be available. And this is that watercolor paper. And I'm just going to go in. And I am going to just spritz this up with water. Just plain water. It's watercolor paper. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with my pool party. And what I want to do, I think what I can do now is take this away. You know what? I'm thinking that maybe I should keep this on there. This is a watercolor or this these are um photopolymer stamps so i think it's best that we just use some of this grid paper for my stamp apparatus and we're going to use it underneath there and i have this stamp and this stamp that i've got out ready to be done now i'm going in with my pool party and like i say i want this to be like a watercolor um painting that I'm going to be doing. You know, it's funny. It's very funny how it could be a lot of different things. Now, I know that this is probably going to be too big, but I just want this to go and look like water. I'm just, I've taken a brush and I've just done it that way. And now I'm going to go in with my crumb cake. Like I say, when I first thought of this, I didn't think of an easel like this. I thought of um, an easel card. Now that is still a bit wet, so I'm gonna come in. Let's just put that there. Yes, He's, you know, English is a fascinating, just a fascinating. So that's looking, is it not looking? Kind of like watercolor, right? Now, I want to make sure that this is dry now. Can you believe I'm not embossing, but I'm using my heat gun to dry this. Because I don't want it to really go. And I guess I could have dabbed this too. There's a lot of wet up at the top there so let me just get that good and dry and what would be really good is to put some i should have while it was wet is just take a paintbrush and then just kind of like this is the water and that and i'm going to come in with these bull rushes or these weeds and i'm going to come in and do that with i'm not sure i think i'm going to use a mossy meadow it might be too dark i'm not too sure just want to put that down there so this is a painting in yeah that's better and then what I could do too is maybe put a boulder down there or boulders or rocks so let's go there and I'll just grab this and I'm thinking rocks would be good in a smoky slate maybe see just like that and we can actually go in here this this set is just amazing um, I'm so happy that it's carrying over into the new catalog now if you're on my newsletter if you're on my newsletter list you saw the new in colors oh my goodness are they not gorgeous I'm happy about all of them Okay, so this is just, like I say, just the beginning of the artist that's sitting there and it's just going to um, uh, they're just going in and um, painting, just starting to paint. That's 
what I'm thinking. Now, I'm not even sure if I'm going to get these on right. But I'm going to put this with my Misty Moonlight. It's retiring. Oh, my goodness. It's so sad to see that go. Oops. There we go. I just want those kind of up here. There we go. Now, this is the beginning of a painting. So it's on my easel is my thought process. So I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to put this on here and we're going to have it kind of framed. We don't know exactly how we want to do this. Like I say, I'm just going ahead and this is just um, something that I have to do for a, um, a challenge in itself. But this set is perfect with this watercolor. It's just, it's just one of those ones that's going to be so great to, um... oh, you know what? I'm not going to like that. Thinking that maybe I'm going to come in with my little mini dimensionals. And let's put it on the back of this frame here. Now, like I say, the frame isn't part of it, of this challenge. Watercolor anything. I was going to use watercolor crayons is what I was thinking of doing. Okay, so I've got these on here. Let's just cut this. All right. I just want this to stick up. I'll just put this here. Now, I am going to show you another thing that you can do with these. this type of an easel type card. A lot of fun. Like I say, I did this, I would say it's got to be eight, nine years ago. I remember doing it for a, um, a swap that I was in, that I did down at the convention. Whoops. Let's just put that there. And we'll put one here. Now this goes ahead with, I think it's World Art Day is what we're celebrating in this challenge that we're doing. All right. So yeah, like I say, um, I really can't wait until this catalog goes live. So pretty. All right. Let's go ahead and put this on the front here. I might have to trim this off a bit. You know what? I think I will. I'll go in and just trim it off now. And then I won't have to worry about trimming it off when it's already on the paper. And let's just go and trim this down just a bit. And... Oops. Looks like that didn't go through. And we'll just trim this off just a bit here as well. Push down harder on the thing. There we go. Let's go here. Let's just put this on here. Back side. Whoops. Let's see. Oh. There we go. And you know what? I am going to trim this off a little bit here. All right. So like I say, this is going to go like an easel. So I'm just going to put this on with glue because it's going on to the embossing here. Let's put that on there like that. Now, this is watercoloring. So let's see. I want to also, let's see. I think we should have, I'm wondering what color I should put the sentiment on with. Um, I really want this one. You are an inspiration. It's kind of tying along with what is on there. So let's see. I don't... Oops, this didn't glue down there very good. It's 
hold that down. Now, I think this could fit on here. And I don't think that the pool party would be dark enough. So I'm going to come in with some. What an artist, eh? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's go here. I don't know if this is big enough. Okay, I want to bring that down just a bit. And let's just put... I guess I'm not sure. Do we want to put it on their side face? I should have put it over there further if that's what I was going to do. But I'm going to cut this part off to say, now, do I need to put some? Yeah, that's going to go across there is what I think it's going to do. Now, what I have to do, because this is up quite a bit, is I'm going to double dimensionalize. Got it. I love that word this part of the sentiment. Now, like I say, do we want to put, do we want to put some embellishments on here? So that's just going to go like that. You know what? I really should maybe just come in and I think I'm going to dirty this up just a bit. So I'm just going to come in with my crumb cake. I'll come in with a blending brush. There we go. Otherwise it was too stark white in that um, oops. Now, oh, I know that that's like that, so I can just go and cut this part off here now. There we go. Now, how else do we want to do? What else do we want to put on there? All right, so let's see. I've got this looking like this. So, you know what? Even though this is not quite right, we could turn around and I could also put some pebbles on there. Pretend that I've done. A bit of. I'm not sure what it could go. Yeah, I think the pebbles would look good. You know, and I think I'm going to use the gray ones because they'll be a little more subtle. I really like these pebbles. Let's go. Oops. Just like so. And I know they don't really go, but that's okay. There we go. Kind of just need something, a little something down there, that's for sure. All right, so there's my card, and that's my mystery card. Like I say, I used um, it's easel. So it could be an easel card. It can be anything like that. The other part is, is using a punch. And the other part is watercolor. So I use the watercolor paper. And this is that fluid 100 watercolor paper. Really nice how it kind of um, went in together. And I got to show you, if I can show you on this one. See what happened. This one went quite I had a lot more water on it and you can see where this, that might've been kind of neat to put on there. You know, if I want, I could even spritz this and get it a little more water color. And I also use that everyday punch. Um, and then that is retiring as well. And then this is retiring as a bundle. So you can still get both the stamp set. You can get the stamp set. You can get um, the punch, the dragonfly punch, but you can't get it together with the 10%. Um, just a couple of other things just to remind you, if you do live in Canada, there are a few things that are going on. This coming weekend, and there won't be the sketch challenge on Saturday. It'll be on Sunday. 
Um, and there won't be any sip and stamp on Saturday because it's our big BOGO um, sale, which is buy one, get one free from our retired um, product, which is really a good deal. So um, basically, um, if you um, purchase equal value from the catalog, you'll get your retired stuff for free. And of course, if you live out of town, you'd have to pay that shipping. Um, unfortunately, that kind of shipping in Canada is outrageous. Um, but at least that way, um, you can get some good bargains. And it really kind of ties in really well with this sale that's coming up with the retired stuff. Now, we can't sell anything that is isn't retired at, at this point. So this will be a lot of stuff that's from back. Plus, also, I have some oldies and goldies in there. I have some really neat ones there. Um, Another thing, tomorrow is my Now What series. Um, I'm kind of excited about that one. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, and I have done a video. I haven't pub I haven't published it yet on how to make it um, a Chucky. Or I'm going to call them a Peggy. Because Peggy actually gave me one. And I really, I love it. And I can basically... Um, um, show it off because she's the one that um, showed me that. Um, another thing, uh, let's see, is there anything else? Anyways, give me the thumbs up, share my video. I really do appreciate it. If you have anybody that lives in Canada that would like to take part in my, part in my BOGO event, um, just reach out to me and I'll send you the link, link to the Facebook page. Plus, we're going, um, we have a couple of challenges that day. Um, we're also um, doing... Uh, we're going to show some um, samples with the ladybug, with the um, symbols of fortune. We're showing some samples with um, the rainbows, ha rainbow happiness and rainbows, rainbows and happiness. And we're going to do a stamping together with waves of the ocean. So anyways, have a great day and we will see you all soon. Bye for now.